Well, look who dropped back by. I'm glad you did. I'm Ray. This is the Happiness Factory. I'm glad you stopped by. Today, we're going to be unboxing and installing a washer and dryer. This is a Maytag set, and I'm going to break it down for you why I chose the Maytag over all the other brands that are on the market today. <laughs> We have to remove this plate on the back of this dryer to install the power supply cord. They used to give you all that stuff together, but now you have to buy it all separate. And the power supply cord, the water hose, the vent lines, which is down there, uh, all have to be bought separate. We'll start by removing this little plate right here. I'm just using a little Craftsman adjustable wrench. The reason I, that is is because the Bronco is in here and you guys know I keep all most of my quick going tools in the Bronco. I should be able to get it with this. Get the power supply cord at Lowe's. It's an important note that the lines on the dryer should be color coordinated with the lines on your power supply cord. You want to put the plate back on, so the way we'll do it is we'll unroll it. All right, just like that. Just feed it through this hole. Okay, up like this. Right there. Okay, and then we'll unwrap it and put each cord to this corresponding terminal. Okay. Okay. Now that we have it, now that we have it set up here. All right. As you can see, we got red wire. Do we have two other wires here? Right. Now, I've seen before where they would be coordinated appropriately. We have three wires, but in this one, I can't see, okay, yes, red, yellow, and green, I do believe is, I don't know, let me look, with some light. We also have a lock that should go around these wires so that they don't fall back through this hole here. And this is a lock that you put on for that. It just goes on both sides of the wire.
green goes right there. The green is for ground. Green is for ground. See, I'll cut my hand under there to make sure nothing fell off. Red. Same thing, bring it in. The white wire is next. I can see it under there. If I get my light and shine in there. I can see by looking through this peephole at an angle. It's white, then black, and then green. Red, white, the next wire over is black, and green goes for to green. You can see the wires that correspond on the dryer with the wires that come in the cord pack. Okay, let's move these out of the way. Let's continue across. White. Hand under there so I don't drop it down inside the dryer. Makes for a sad day. I also have a magnetic screwdriver. So white. In you go, in you go, this is no 
don't want to go because the wires are stiff. It's heavy gauge wire. Put the screwdriver back in there. Put some pressure on it. Straighten this wire up while I'm in here. There we go. No sense in it being all weird angled. Now the black wire. Remember, put your hand under there so it doesn't fall down in the dryer when it comes out. Also got a magnetic tip, remember, but it didn't work that time. It's not out of the way. <clears throat> okay. Black wire. And you can pay someone $100 to do this for you, but you still have to get the cord. And like I say, the cords and the hoses for this washer and dryer Oh, my furnace just kicked on. It was ninety-eight dollars. And I'd rather keep the ninety-eight. If it's okay with you. I would keep the one hundred dollar installation fee because I can color coordinate. I can put a green wire to a green wire, black wire to a black wire. There's no juice going to this dryer until I plug it in. So. I'm just following the steps. And last but not least, the ground. Well, not there. <laughs> I was discombobulated here for a second. Green will go over. turning on but it wasn't making heat so it wasn't getting the electricity it needed to do the job. Now it sounds weird but I've seen it and I'm not a repairman or anything I'm just showing you I've got a new washer dryer I'm putting it in my house. This plate Set, which I actually do over there somewhere. I'll say, took it with me. I'm really bad about not having tools where I need them. I might have every tool known to man, but they are never where I'm at when I need them. End up going to a hardware store to get something. I already have five or six of them.
tight. And we have that little thing in there to keep it from coming out back. Now, the next thing we got to do, we put you down to the ground, Charlie Brown. See that dryer vent down there? All right. Next thing we got to do is install the dryer vent hose. The color hoses in the back coordinate with the temperatures of your spigots. So you just hook up the hoses with the colors on the back. Part I hate the most. I don't know why they got to put so many stickers and plastic on everything. Ah. Oh, good. Glue. Yay! Glue all over the lid. That's always something that every homeowner enjoys is washing glue off of their brand new appliances. That is a failure on a manufacturer's part. Maytag, you shouldn't do that. If you want to send us packages, if you want us to read something about this shit, put it in an envelope, put it inside the washer. Look at this, this is a mess. This is a god awful mess. God. Oh good, thank God it's vinyl. Oh, the glue everywhere on this glass lid so you can watch your load and check your load. Uh, slow close lid. See? But it's covered in glue from advertisements. Uh, partners with Maytag, which is it's a sad thing. Uh, that they would deface the thing you purchased from them when they, before they sent it to you. No. They were basically graffiti something that they sold you. It's 
terrible. I don't know. I'll trust Mr. Clean on it. I don't know. And like I say, I can always get it out with a hammer. And then they just send me a new lid. It's under warranty. I'll tie free tie pods, top little info. Really, really fancy. This is what I bought it for. Can you see this? I want to show you. I bought this washer primarily because that is a detergent fabric softener drawer for dispensing fabric softener and detergent at the appropriate times. I like that the most. The other reason I bought it is Maytag. It's made in America and uh, I'll, read, I'll go over the details after I get it all hooked up. Now the hoses on the back of this machine correspond with the hoses on the wall. Okay? Uh, the plugs on the back also are labeled red and blue. Blue being cold, red being hot. If you're looking at this box, my box, hot water is on the left, cold is on the right. Hot water, cold water. Okay? And uh, I got these hoses. I'll show you those real quick. Eastman. Good old Eastman Company, right? You guys know Eastman. If you do any cars, all your door parts and door handles and everything comes from Eastman. Well, Eastman also makes these six-foot uh, wash and dryer holes. Uh, wash and dryer. Washer supply lines, red and blue. And they'll just go onto the back of the washer and plug into the corresponding water. The washer is a lot easier to hook up than the dryer. There's no plugs or anything. And we're going to run two, two uh, quilts today. Not at the same time. I'm going to wash two quilts two different times as the test loads for this washing machine. Both machines are running. The dryer is very quiet. But it's also very quick. I dried a quilt. There's another quilt in there now. But I dried this quilt. And I was amazed at how quick it, it, uh, it cycled. I like it. It's a good product. It is the Maytag washer with deep fill option. I didn't get the app uh, smart washer because I, how smart do you need a washer to be? I didn't think the smart washer was enough to uh, warrant paying the extra money for the app. But it's very good. Works very good. I am uh, I am happy with the way it works. I didn't like all the stickers that was on the thing here. I uh, wasn't too crazy about that. But as you see, it's a really good looking set. I read a lot of reviews that said that uh, the washing machine was noisy, but I don't think it's any noisier than any washing machine I've ever had. And it does wash really well. Uh, this doesn't have an agitator in it. It has an impeller, so uh, you can see there's no stick inside it. Now I've got it, it might be unbalanced a little bit. It's getting ready to do a spin cycle. Uh, but I have, uh, and it right now is a vest and a blanket. And so it's doing its thing. I think it's uh, I think it's good. So uh, on deep fill, this thing if, if you use a deep fill on it, it will use 40 gallons of water in a cycle. It doesn't have a big energy rating. Doesn't have a lot of stuff, which makes me think, oh, this thing washes clothes. Uh, the cost of operation 
is predicted to be forty dollars a year in water and energy costs. Like I say, it's a little shaky there because I've got it loaded kind of weird with uh, two bulky items. But it's it did really well with the quilts. And but the washer is louder than the dryer. The dryer is whisper quiet. Okay, I'm going to do a first load in the washing machine. Pull out the drawer. Add some downy fabric softener. I am doing a quilt. A red padded quilt. I'm going to do a cold water wash on it because I don't like washing my... I don't like washing stuff in hot. I don't like washing stuff in hot, so... Let's see what we got here. Here's my softener. I'm going to put some liquid tide. It does take pods. I have pods at the other place that I'm moving over to here. So I thought I'd just go ahead and bring it up to the, that's a lot, right there to the max fill line. Close the dispenser tray. Close the lid. And options. Fabric softener option. Cold water wash. Hold to start. And there we go. The washing machine is now washing a load of clothes. All the waters are on. Yep, all the way. Should be fine. Let's see what happens. The good thing is, if you've got a hose, it's not tight enough. Or your drain hose is not tight enough. In my basement here, we have a floor drain, so even if it does something weird, it's not going to uh, do anything weird. Looks like it's trying to bounce the load a little bit. Of course, this doesn't have a agitator in it. It is a uh, impeller washing machine, direct drive impeller. Here comes the water, which may be a little weird at first because it's uh, the first load I ran in it. Now it had some water sloshing in, and I assume that's from testing. And uh, as you can see, it's doing its thing. You can see, can't you? It's the glass top. Let's see if we can get you a better shot. There we go. So the reason I chose Maytag over all the other washers and dryers in the business, Samsung, GE, all the other types of washers and dryers, is that Maytag actually has a really good warranty and they have a service department. So a service department is very important. It's important to have a service department. It's important to have support. Now, what I mean by that is when you buy the other washers and dryers in the market, you tend to be put on hold. Um, you know, they have parts warranties, but they don't have community support for your parts. Whereas Maytag, true to their word, has a network of repair people that will come out to your house and repair your washer and dryer if something happens to them. The other reason I went with Maytag over all the other brands is Maytag is an American company. It's made in the USA. 
It's made right here. The other thing about Maytag that I really like is, uh, you know, this washer had the softener drawer and it had the drawer for detergent. I know that's not a big deal, but to me, I really like the fact that it, it dispenses the softener at the right time in the load. It does it automatically, and, and because when I do it, I put it all in at the same time. Of course, you can get softener pods now. You can get all that other stuff. Uh, it has a, a slow-closing lid, so it doesn't slam. It's got a glass lid. It's got a lot of presets, so you can just set it on something and it auto-wash it the, the way it's supposed to be, heavy, delicate, things like that. Uh, auto selects the water temperature for the load that you're you're choosing if you're choosing colors or heavies or what have you or whites uh, you can also override that at any time with the keyboard next that is built in LED keyboard and uh, you just punch in what you want it's it's a real simple machine to use the dryers whisper quiet of course you'll have button noises and things like that when you're doing a load with zippers and stuff like that but it, it's really efficient really quick and the last thing is, is this washer was not an eco washer. It actually uses water. And, and you know, I know about saving the plant and all that. You just have to know I just don't care when it comes. I want my clothes clean. I want them clean, and I like to use a lot of water when I wash. And you have the deep fill option on this washer that you didn't have on a lot of the efficient models. And uh, overall, I'm really okay with it, and I, I give it uh, five stars. I'm really happy with my washer and dryer.